Thank you for watching this Deer Systems tutorial. In this video, we'll cover the integration between Deer and QuickBooks Online. Before proceeding with the integration, you should note that Deer only supports QuickBooks Online versions Essentials and Plus. If you're unsure of the version of QuickBooks you're operating, please contact Deer Systems by emailing support at deersystems.com. Once Deer and QuickBooks are connected, Deer will become the central point of all inventory management within your business. This means that all inventory related purchases, sales and manufacturing tasks will be performed in Deer and then synchronized over to QuickBooks Online. It's important to turn off quantity tracking on products within your QuickBooks Online account. If quantity tracking is on, you'll have duplicate COGS entries created in QuickBooks due to Deer and QuickBooks both creating COGS entries for the same transactions. Deer will automatically post journal entries into QuickBooks based on process transactions and will require the chart of accounts to be imported from QuickBooks. So before commencing the integration process, several accounts will need to be created in QuickBooks. These accounts are Accounts Receivable, Accounts Payable, Inventory Discrepancy, Cost of Goods Sold, Supplier Deposits, and Customer Credits. Your chart of accounts will be loaded based on the industry specified when initially setting up QuickBooks Online. You may find that some of the accounts may already be present and you may just need to make sure that you enter the rest of the required accounts if they're missing. To add a new account in QuickBooks Online, go to Accounting, then Chart of Accounts. Here, you can select the New button. Select the account type and the details type, then Save. Once you've added all the relevant accounts, you're ready to begin the integration to Deer Inventory. From within Deer, Navigate to Integrations and then select QuickBooks Online. Here, you'll be required to provide your QuickBooks Online login credentials and authorize the integration. The QuickBooks Online Connect wizard will then walk you through each of the settings and required data before enabling your QuickBooks Online integration. A message informs you that migration will continue in the background and that you'll receive an email when the process is complete. On the initial sync, Deer will download from QuickBooks all of the chart of accounts tax rules, payment terms, suppliers, customers, products, and invoices. Once set up, you can adjust the integration settings via this page. On the left-hand side, you'll find information on the specific flow of data between Deer Inventory and QuickBooks Online. If you're using QuickBooks Online, you must create and manage your accounts from QuickBooks Online. They'll then be imported into Deer when you next synchronize your accounts. So, with the chart of accounts coming from QuickBooks Online, your chart of accounts in Deer will be displayed in read-only format. The tax rules will also be created in QuickBooks Online and then synchronized over to Deer. Any changes in tax rules in QuickBooks Online will be synced to Deer. Payment terms will also need to be created in QuickBooks and synchronized over to Deer. Vendors or suppliers and customers can be created either in QuickBooks or created within Deer Inventory as these can be synced either way. Products or service items can be created in either QuickBooks or Deer and will be synced between both systems. Sale invoices and purchase invoices can be created in either of the systems and will be synchronized between them, though it is advisable to perform all accounts payable and accounts receivable duties in Deer, then sync to QuickBooks. The credit notes or purchase credit notes need to be created in Deer Inventory and then synchronized over to QuickBooks Online. You cannot sync these from QuickBooks Online to Deer. Payments of purchase invoices and sale invoices can be made in either of the systems and then synced between each other. Sale quote or estimates can optionally be sent from Deer to QuickBooks. Sale invoices created in Deer are automatically exported to QuickBooks. Sale invoices can be optionally imported from QuickBooks Online. The credit memos or sales credit notes will need to be created in Deer Inventory and then exported to QuickBooks. Within the QuickBooks Online integration page, you can choose whether to export purchase orders, sales quotes, and COGS to QuickBooks Online. You can also set class and location mapping, making sure this feature is enabled in your QuickBooks Online account first. For more information on class and location tracking, please refer to our knowledge base or contact support at deersystems.com. Below class and location mapping, you can optionally select if you'd like to import purchase invoices and sales invoices from QuickBooks and use actual shipping date when available for invoice sync to QuickBooks. You can also set up auto-synchronization of Deer and QuickBooks. Toggle auto-synchronization to yes 
to display additional auto sync options. Here you can set the start date, start time, and sync frequency. Then select an alert type for any errors raised during the synchronization process. Note that if you have enabled auto synchronization, you can still perform manual synchronizations at any time, as long as an auto synchronization process is not currently running. If the auto synchronization process is running, D will not allow a manual sync. The status of each auto sync is detailed by filtering for integrations in the audit report, which is found within the reports module. Here we can also perform COGS maintenance. This can be used to manually void or recall export of COGS transactions from QuickBooks, as well as re-export COGS transactions to QuickBooks. Note that COGS transactions will be automatically created when the ship stage is authorized on a sale. This tool should only be used for adjustment purposes if ever required. You may find that you are still experiencing duplicate COGS in transactions even if inventory tracking has been disabled. This is possible if inventory tracking for a product has been enabled in QuickBooks Online at some point. In this case, you can replace all products at once to fix this issue. All existing items in QuickBooks will be rewritten with products from Deer. The process will start by checking for the uniqueness of each product name in Deer using the first 100 symbols of a name. If there are no duplicates, the replacing products process will begin. If a single duplicate name is found, an error message will pop up. If this happens, you shouldn't start replacing products in QuickBooks Online until you are sure all product names are unique. You can connect your Deer account to another QuickBooks organization if there is ever a need to switch. If you decide to connect Deer to a different QuickBooks Online organization, click the Change Organization button. Here, you'll be walked through the QuickBooks Connect wizard to finish the account and tax mapping. This is essentially the same process as connecting to QuickBooks for the first time. If you decide that you want to remove the integration between Deer and QuickBooks Online permanently, select the Disable Integration button. You can continue to use Deer as a standalone accounting system. Here, you can also export historical data from Deer to QuickBooks. One other important step is to check that your account mapping has been set up correctly. Start by navigating to Settings, Reference Books, Financial, and Account Mapping. Deer will try and map accounts automatically on an initial sync if it finds suitable accounts in your QuickBooks account, but it is advisable to check this and make sure that you're satisfied with what accounts are being used. If you're missing an account, you can go to QuickBooks and create them, then perform the sync again. Then you'll be able to select the new account from the account mapping page. And that concludes this video on the QuickBooks Online integration.